we will fly over the stunning coastline of Paphos, which spans 18 kilometers. Here, you will find about 70 hotels, each with its own unique style and atmosphere. Leonardo Plaza, Cipria Maris Beach. Guests often praise its excellent location and the friendly staff. The food is another highlight, with a variety of meals that cater to different tastes. However, it's not all perfect. Some guests have reported noise disruptions in their rooms. Others felt that the hotel did not offer satisfactory value for money. Despite these drawbacks, many guests have had positive experiences at the hotel. Next up on the course is Athena Beach Hotel. On one hand, guests have praised its location, which is close to the sea and local attractions. The staff is friendly and helpful, and the facilities, including the pool and children's club, are well received. The food, particularly the breakfast choices, is excellent. The hotel also offers a variety of activities for both adults and children, including dancing lessons, evening shows, and musical nights. There's even a kids' club during the summer with organized activities. On the other hand, some guests have had issues. The air conditioning in the rooms can be too cold for comfort. There were also complaints about the kid channel on the TV being blocked. And while the hotel is near the beach, some guests were disappointed to find out that it was not sandy as they had assumed. Despite these issues, many guests have enjoyed with their stay. The Louis Imperial Beach Hotel in Paphos is a charming place with a few quirks. Guests love its seaside location, friendly staff, and delicious food. However, some found the air conditioning noisy, the facilities a bit outdated, and the evening entertainment could be too cold outside. Despite these, the hotel's positives have left a lasting impression on many guests. Approaching the five-star Olympic Lagoon Resort, which, among other things, stands out for its high level of evening entertainment. There is a hotel with the same name in Ayanapa, where it is even bigger and located on a magnificent beach. Amphora Hotel and Amp Suites is a beachfront hotel in Paphos, Cyprus with great location, stunning views, and spacious rooms. However, some guests were unhappy with the rude pool bar staff, the poor cleaning service, and the moderate customer service. The food was good, especially the American breakfast and the Cypriot and international dishes at the restaurant, but some guests found it expensive and unsatisfying. In summary, Amphora Hotel and Amp Suites emerges as a solid choice for travelers valuing prime location, stunning views, and spacious rooms. However, compromises may be necessary when it comes to certain aspects of service and food quality. We are approaching the Amavi Made For Two Hotel. Note that the noisy construction of the building next door is nearing completion. Consider the Amavi Made For Two Hotel in Paphos for a romantic retreat designed exclusively for couples. Reviews highlight friendly staff, diverse cuisine, and comfortable facilities. Some drawbacks include high prices, nearby construction noise, limited entertainment, and perceived isolation. Overall, ideal for couples seeking a relaxing getaway, but may not suit all preferences and budgets. Alexander the Great Beach Hotel offers a prime beachfront stay with stunning views and diverse dining. Some guests note noise issues and mixed opinions on cleanliness. While popular for beach and city enthusiasts, it may not suit those seeking a quiet, budget-friendly stay. Overall, many guests create positive memories at this resort. We've reviewed guest feedback on Almira Hotel in Paphos, Cyprus. Guests love the prime location near Paphos Marina and its breathtaking sea views. 
top-notch service and well-maintained facilities, including spa and pools, received high praise. Some downsides include occasional noise, smaller rooms, and a higher price tag. The stony beach may not be suitable for families with small children. However, guests rave about varied dining options and entertainment. Overall, Almira Hotel offers a promising choice with minor drawbacks for your next vacation. Annabelle Hotel in Paphos is a charming choice for your stay in Cyprus. It offers a welcoming atmosphere, attentive service and cleanliness. You will enjoy the variety and quality of food using seasonal produce and local wines. The location is convenient and scenic, close to the center and attractions. The hotel also provides live music and entertainment programs for adults and children. Some guests reported noise in outdated areas, but most left with positive memories. The Paphos Promenade is a scenic walking area that stretches along the Mediterranean coast. It offers a variety of attractions, such as the Paphos Harbour and Port, where you can see the ancient fort and enjoy the shops and restaurants. You can also take a boat trip or a cruise from the port and admire the views of the sea and the mountains. The promenade is a great place to relax, exercise, or explore the history and culture of Paphos. The island of Cyprus is famous for its ancient history. Among the many legends, one story related to Paphos is particularly interesting. It is about the sculptor Pygmalion and his creation. Pygmalion was a famous master who carved beautiful statues out of ivory. One day he created an image of a perfect woman who struck him with her beauty and grace. Pygmalion fell in love with his statue and began to treat her as if she were alive. He gave her flowers and adorned her with expensive clothes, but the statue did not reciprocate. On the day of Aphrodite's celebration, Pygmalion offered a prayer to the goddess, asking her to give him a wife who resembled his statue. Aphrodite, seeing the sculptor's sincere love, fulfilled his wish. The statue came to life and became Pygmalion's wife. According to one version, they had a son, Paphos, in honor of whom the city of Paphos was named. In another version, they had a daughter, Papha, who also gave the name of the city. This is such a romantic and surprising myth about the origin of the name Paphos. Paphos Castle is a historical landmark in the harbor area of Paphos, Cyprus. It was originally built by the Byzantines in the 12th century to protect the port, but it was destroyed by an earthquake and rebuilt by the Lucinians in the 13th century. The Venetians dismantled it in the 16th century, but the Ottomans restored it and added a square tower and a courtyard. The castle has been used as a prison, a salt store, and a museum. It is a popular tourist attraction and a venue for cultural events. We are now flying over the ruins of the ancient city of Neopathos, which was founded by the ancient Greeks just after the victory in the Trojan War in the 12th century BC. Scientists refer to the ruins as New Paphos because to the south of the site was the original older Paphos, which had been destroyed by an earthquake. Neopaphos became the most important city of Cyprus during the Hellenistic and Roman periods, as it was the seat of the governor and the center of the cult of Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. The archaeological site of Neopaphos covers a large area of about 100 hectares and contains the remains of many public and private buildings, such as the Agora, the Odeon, the theater, the basilica, the baths, the gymnasium, the stadium, the palace, and the villas. The most famous and impressive monuments are the mosaics, which decorate the floors of the Roman villas and depict scenes from Greek mythology and everyday life. The mosaics are considered to be among the finest in the Mediterranean and reflect the high artistic and cultural level of Neopaphos. Neo-Paphos was a flourishing and cosmopolitan city until the 7th century AD, 
when it suffered from earthquakes, invasions and epidemics. The city gradually declined and was abandoned by the 12th century when the port silted up and the population moved to the nearby site of Katima. Today, Neopathos is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a major tourist attraction where visitors can admire the rich and diverse heritage of the ancient city. Apparently, the city wall passed through here. Excavations of the city continue to this day, and who knows how many more discoveries this ancient land holds. But back to our beaches and hotels. Right now, we're looking at Lighthouse Beach. This is the only beach in this part of the city where you can swim and sunbathe. True, there is not much sand here and the bottom is covered with stones. Sometimes you can see seaweed on the shore, which is brought by the sea wave, but this does not prevent you from enjoying the coolness and freshness after a hot walk. Paphos, full of beauty and charm, continues. Let's fly to where the resort coastline stretches another 15 kilometers along the Blue Sea. There, luxury hotels, villas and magnificent beaches await us, hidden away from the hustle and bustle of the city. In front of us is the Kefalos Beach Tourist Village. This hotel offers spacious rooms with balconies and sea views. The staff are friendly and helpful. The hotel has a large outdoor pool, a heated indoor pool and a tennis court. You can also enjoy water sports, French boules, and archery. In the evening, you can have fun with the entertainment programs such as discos, karaoke, quiz nights, Cypriot folklore shows, and fire shows. However, not everything is perfect here. Some guests did not like the food, which was bland, frozen, or processed. They also did not like the loud music that played until late at night. Some guests said the cleaning was not great, Overall, this resort is a good hotel for a beach holiday if you do not mind the food and the noise. Most guests like the hotel and would recommend it to others. And now we are approaching the real gem of Cyprus, the Elysium Hotel, offering a luxurious and comfortable haven. Its high standards and world-class facilities have left a lasting impression on guests. Upon entering the lobby, you're immersed in opulence and elegance. While room reviews varied, with praise for comfort and design, some inland view guests desired more. Guest feedback consistently highlights the warm and attentive staff, going above and beyond to ensure a memorable stay. Food prices were criticized by some, but the majority commended the diverse culinary experiences, especially the delightful breakfast spread. The hotel provides various entertainment options, including live performances at the amphitheater. Families with children appreciated thoughtful provisions, like the entertainment room and outdoor playground. In summary, positive aspects far outweigh the negatives. Cypress Stone Towers Place is a popular attraction in Paphos, where visitors can create their own stone towers on the beach. The stone towers are said to symbolize wishes, hopes, and dreams. Some people also believe that they bring good luck and harmony. This stone towers created by tourists are located on the territory of the archaeological complex Tomb of the Kings, which is a large necropolis that dates back to the Hellenistic and Roman periods. It contains underground tombs carved out of solid rock and decorated with Doric columns and frescoes. The tombs are thought to have been the burial sites of aristocrats and high officials of Paphos, but not of actual kings. Venus Beach stands out as one of the finest beaches in Paphos. Picture this, a stretch of pure golden sand, meticulously sheltered from the rolling waves. It's an absolute paradise, particularly ideal for families with little ones. About the neighbouring hotel, we can say that the staff here is friendly. However, guests note outdated rooms, uncomfortable beds, and mixed opinions about the food. The hotel offers entertainment for all ages, and considering the beach, 
this resort could be a decent choice for a beach holiday. Capital Coast Resort is a clean and convenient hotel with reasonable food and drinks and evening entertainment. However, some guests were unhappy with the hotel's old look, unfriendly service or unsuitable room choice. Reading the reviews and the description before booking is recommended. As we approach another line of hotels, let me share some insights about the celebrities who have visited Paphos at various times. Alexander the Great, the renowned conqueror, took control of Cyprus in 333 BC, designating Paphos as the island's capital. The Apostle Paul arrived in Paphos in 45 AD, successfully converting the proconsul Sergius Paulus. Ovid, the Roman poet and author of Metamorphoses, wrote about Paphos as the birthplace of Aphrodite. In present times, Paphos was visited by Leonardo DiCaprio, Michael Douglas, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and John Malkovich, who have all enjoyed their holidays here. Renowned singers Elton John, Diana Ross, and Rod Stewart have also visited Paphos, choose the luxurious Anassa Hotel for its privacy and elegance. Let's revisit the hotels. The King Avalthon Beach Hotel, nestled in a prime spot, provides its guests with stunning vistas and well-kept outdoor spaces, including a popular water park for children. However, there have been reports from some guests about variability in the standard of the rooms and the meals. While the restaurant staff has received commendations, the reception staff's attitude has been a bone of contention for some. The evening entertainment, though available, has been suggested by some guests to have room for enhancement. In summary, the hotel offers a range of experiences with its location, water park, views, and outdoor facilities being its strongest points. The Acti Beach Village Resort, with its picturesque seafront setting and beautifully landscaped gardens, offers spacious rooms and excellent service. However, some guests felt the rooms need an overhaul and the food variety could be improved. The resort is not close to bars or restaurants, but offers weekly theme nights and shows. Apollo Beach Villas is a seaside haven that guests love. It's perfect for exploring with stunning views and close to Paphos City. The villas are clean and well-equipped with a kitchen, free Wi-Fi and a year-round outdoor pool. Parking is also available. There are no recent negative reviews. Any issues seem to be isolated or resolved. The neighboring Arcadia village has similar reviews. It is a spacious hotel offering plenty of space to relax and unwind. Many guests were mesmerized by the magnificent views from the windows. Another advantage is the location, with many guests praising its convenience. Next up is the Louis Paphos Breeze Hotel. It is often praised for its cleanliness, variety and quality of food, as well as the friendliness of the staff. Guests frequently commend the excellent food selection, which includes a delightful breakfast featuring local produce and vegetarian options. There are a few notable differences when comparing Paphos with Aya Napa and Protaras. The Paphos coastline is a more rocky landscape characterized by larger waves. Still, the region is also known for its abundance of greenery, magnificent sea sunsets, and a sky occasionally decorated with white clouds. An undeniable advantage of Paphos is its wealth of historical sites, creating a unique atmosphere and immersing visitors in the rich cultural heritage of Cyprus. The Atlantica Action Hotel in Paphos offers comfort and convenience, though some find it secluded. 
Facilities are adequate but could be refreshed. Entertainment is generally well received but can be repetitive. Staff are friendly and helpful, contributing to a welcoming atmosphere. The hotel is praised for its cleanliness and food variety, particularly the buffet restaurants, Mediterranean and international dishes. Children's entertainment is provided, but no specific adult evening shows are mentioned. Despite minor drawbacks, most guests have a positive experience. Eleni Holiday Village is a place that many guests have enjoyed. However, some guests have mentioned the hotel can be noisy, with music from mid-morning until midnight. Some found the rooms to be a bit dated. The variety at the buffets and the themed nights at the restaurant were well received. The hotel also offers a range of entertainment activities, adding to the fun of the stay. St George Beach Hotel offers a variety of experiences. Guests often praise the hotel's location, cleanliness and facilities, including the spa, pools and beach access. The staff are also frequently commended for their attentiveness and friendliness. However, some guests have expressed dissatisfaction with the food and the entertainment has been described as repetitive. There have also been complaints about the allocation of sunbeds. Despite these criticisms, many guests have enjoyed the food and drinks at the hotel and the overall atmosphere is often described as relaxing. It's worth noting that the hotel is advertised as an adults only resort. The Leonardo Laura Beach Hotel in Paphos received mixed reviews. Some guests felt that the price was not value for money, the choice of dinner dishes was limited, and some dishes did not live up to expectations. On the other hand, the hotel's water park was often praised as excellent, providing entertainment for children throughout the day. Staff were praised for being responsive and courteous. The variety of food and drink on offer throughout the day was also appreciated by many. Evening entertainment, which includes live bands, dance performances and cabaret shows, takes place on an outdoor amphitheatre-style stage in the hotel's gardens. Overall, while some aspects of the hotel may not meet everyone's expectations, many guests have been satisfied with their stay, thanks to the excellent facilities and entertainment programmes. Asia Resort and Spa is highly praised by guests. They commend the excellent service provided by the friendly staff. The resort's facilities, especially the pool, are described as great. The food, particularly the buffet and the la carte restaurants, receives positive reviews, with some guests considering it the best they've had. The resort offers extensive evening entertainment for both adults and children including live shows and music, a teens club and a kids disco. However, some guests found the pillows uncomfortable and the shower a bit dated. Nevertheless, the pros here far outweigh the cons, making it an excellent choice for a holiday in Paphos. Sandy Beach in Paphos is known for its waves, especially after storms, making it a popular destination for surfers and tourists who love waves. However, when the sea is rough, swimming can be dangerous due to the currents. Therefore, caution is advised when swimming in big waves. While we near the next hotel, consider turning the camera back. You might catch sight of a ship on the horizon near the shore, an unfortunate vessel that met its fate 25 years ago. The Demetrios II was on a journey carrying timber from Greece to Syria when, amidst a fierce storm, she ran aground one kilometre from the coast. Since 1998, she has remained stranded in that location. The crew was airlifted to safety by helicopters. Surprisingly, the testimonies provided by the captain and his assistant were later discovered to be forged. The grounded vessel now rests opposite the King Evelton Beach Hotel. In Paphos and throughout Cyprus, the doors to a world of comfort swing open, 
offering the opportunity to rent an entire villa right by the sea. This type of vacation surpasses the standard hotel experience, promising greater solitude and a homely comfort. The only drawback in such an adventure is preparing your own meals. However, embrace the chance to revel in the luxury of personal space, manage your own schedule, and immerse yourself in the local lifestyle. Look at the green grove below. It's a banana plantation. Among the exotic fruits in Cyprus, mangoes and papayas also grow. You can find them in local fruit shops, but not in supermarkets. We are approaching now to the Atlantica Golden Beach Hotel. It is a popular choice for many visitors. Guests often praise the friendly and helpful staff, as well as the diverse and high quality food choices, especially at breakfast. The hotel's amenities, such as the inviting pool and well-equipped fitness center, are also well reviewed. However, some guests have found the location a bit remote and there have been criticisms regarding the cost of certain services. Additionally, some guests have occasionally mentioned slow service at the bar. The hotel does offer evening entertainment, but it is tailored to meet the preferences of adult guests. There are no specific shows for children, but there is a sandy beach with wave protection. We believe you've already noticed that every year, along the shores of Paphos and Cyprus as a whole, new villas and hotels are being built. This is certainly pleasing, except in the case when such construction is happening next to your hotel. Ahead of us, there are several villas and a couple of interesting hotels. And finally, we will see the famous Coral Bay. What can be said about Cynthiana Beach Hotel? Nestled in a unique location with stunning views and access to both rocky and sandy beaches, it offers a retreat for those seeking peace and tranquility. The staff are known for their friendliness and helpfulness. The rooms are praised for their cleanliness and comfort. However, some guests have mentioned that the hotel could use a renovation. There have also been complaints about an unpleasant smell in the rooms. The Wi-Fi quality was another point of contention, especially in certain areas of the hotel. When it comes to food, the hotel doesn't disappoint. Guests have enjoyed the breakfast and appreciated the variety of buffet theme nights, including Cyprus night with live music and dancing, Chinese night, Italian night, Carvery night, and more. In summary, the Cynthiana Beach Hotel, with its stunning location and friendly staff, offers a memorable stay. However, some areas could use improvement, according to guest feedback. It's a place where the majority of guests have found more positives than negatives. Atlantica Mare Village Paphos is a hotel that offers a blend of luxury and comfort for its guests. The hotel is located on, on a cliff, with stunning views of the sea. It has a kids club and also provides evening entertainment, with different shows and activities for both adults and children. However, the hotel is not perfect and guests have reported some issues. One of the main complaints was about the check-in process which some guests found to be lengthy and inefficient. Others also had problems with their room allocation, where they were given the wrong rooms or had to wait for a long time to get their rooms. On the other hand, many guests praised the hotel for its room quality, food and staff. They found the rooms to be clean, modern and spacious. The food at the hotel was also highly praised with a variety of choices and different themes every night. The staff at the hotel were very polite and friendly. Overall, most guests enjoyed their stay at the hotel and would recommend it to others. The Queen's Bay Hotel in Paphos has garnered positive reviews for its welcoming and professional staff, ensuring a pleasant stay. 
The cleanliness of rooms and the hotel is also commended, enhancing overall comfort. The hotel's food, particularly breakfast, is highly praised for its variety and quality. However, some guests express disappointment with the buffet dinner compared to the excellent breakfast, citing minor issues with table clearing. While the hotel's location may necessitate additional transportation, it compensates with an entertaining program featuring dancing, live shows, games, karaoke, and music for both adults and children. This creates a lively atmosphere, making it an ideal place for relaxation and entertainment. Situated further on the cliff, Gracia Beach Hotel offers a relaxing holiday as it is categorized as adults only. The friendly and helpful staff adds to the charm of the place. However, there are drawbacks. Guests have noted that the Wi-Fi is sometimes unstable. Additionally, some were disappointed by the lack of good music channels on the TV. While the breakfast is commendable for its variety, it seemed monotonous to some guests. Next, we see Patima Bay. If you love nature and romance, then visit this beach is a must. It is a beautiful place where you can enjoy the sunset view and swim in the sea. However, you need to be careful because this bay has strong currents and waves that can be dangerous for inexperienced swimmers. We will not fly through the whole bay, but will move right behind the cape where the famous Coral Bay is located. Coral Bay is a beautiful and popular tourist destination in Cyprus. This beach has a stunning beach with soft sand and clear blue water. The bay is surrounded by rocky headlands and sea caves, which offer a great opportunity for snorkeling and exploring. You can spot various marine life among the rocks, such as fish, octopus, and starfish. Coral Bay has a lively and friendly atmosphere, with many restaurants, cafes, and bars along the avenue. You can find a variety of cuisines, from Japanese to Italian, and enjoy the local specialties, such as halloumi cheese and souvlaki. You can also have a drink and listen to live music at the pubs and clubs. Coral Bay is a great base for exploring the nearby attractions, such as the Avacas Gorge, a natural wonder with impressive rock formations and rich flora and fauna, and the Adonis Baths, a mythical place where the god of beauty and love bathed with his lover Aphrodite, and the Mar Paleocastro settlement, a historical site on this cape where the first Greeks settled in Cyprus in 1200 BC. If you are feeling adventurous, you can join a boat tour from Paphos Harbour to the Coral Bay and further to Blue Lagoon, where you can swim in the turquoise water and admire the scenery. On this cape in 1200 BC, the first Greek settlers landed, fleeing from Mycenae, which had been conquered by the mysterious Sea Peoples. Here, hided the first Greek city on Cyprus, whose ruins gaze upon us, Mar Palaiocastro. In those ancient times, the island was inhabited by remnants of the Minoan civilization from Crete, which had lost its power after the eruption of the volcano on Santorini. Archaeological evidence suggests that the initial Greek settlements on Cyprus were surrounded by walls, likely indicating military threats or clashes with the local Minoan population. Furthermore, other peoples inhabited the island, Phoenicians, Assyrians, Egyptians and Persians, ready to intervene in the affairs of the island and compete with the Greeks for influence and resources. The Coral Beach Hotel is a place where guests have had a variety of experiences. Nestled close to the beach, the hotel offers stunning views that have been frequently praised by guests. The staff are often complimented for their friendliness and helpfulness. However, like any place, it has its drawbacks. Some guests found the food to be average, and there were complaints about the temperature of the food 
particularly at breakfast. The decor and furnishings in the rooms were considered dated by some. Despite these points, many guests enjoyed their stay, appreciating the large portions and variety of food, as well as the evening shows for adults and children. Coralia Beach Hotel. Many guests have praised its location right next to the beach. Some guests have found the hotel to be good value for money. However, the rooms and furniture have been described as outdated and in need of renovation. Wi-Fi is only available in the reception area, which is found inconvenient. Housekeeping service has also been a concern for some guests, particularly regarding the frequency of changing sheets. When it comes to food, opinions are mixed. Some guests were impressed with the variety and quality of the food, while others found it to be subpar. The hotel offers themed buffet nights, including an Italian night, Cypriot night, and carvery. The hotel has a weekly Cypriot night featuring folklore and live music. We have just flown with you over the magnificent coastline of Paphos. Further beyond this cape, there are no more hotels except for one of the most luxurious in Cyprus, Cap St. George Hotel and Resort, which is secluded five kilometers away. We promise you a detailed review of this unique place in the next video. Thank you for your attention and we hope that our journey was interesting and useful for you. Have a nice holiday.